welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially the 2023 presidential election. I want us to look at the latest statement by the Central Bank of Nigeria. A statement that was uh, read by the Governor of Central Bank, Godwin M.F. Hill, announcing that they want to change the currency of Nigeria. They want to make changes to the currency in the form of redesigning of, uh, of the Naira. The Central Bank of Nigeria said that uh, uh, they are going to do, re redesign the Naira and, but, and to remove the old currency and replace it with a new one. I want us to, first of all, have to sound out what MFLA is talking about, then I'll give you my takeaway from it. And uh, we'll see how the thing goes. Because the my takeaway for it is where I will really explain my understanding of it beyond what is on the headline. The Central Bank of Nigeria said it will uh, redesign the 200 Naira, 500 Naira, 1,000 Naira notes. MFLA disclosed this during a press briefing uh, in Abuja. He said that this new, this new Naira that is coming up will be effective from December 15, 2022. So in a very short while, that is what Nigerians will confront, a new Naira. He said that the action was taken in order to take control of the currency in circulation, according to the CBN boss. He said that this is in line with the provisions of sections 2B, section 18A, and section 19, subsection A and B, 2007. The management of the CBN has sought and obtained, they have, the CBN has already gotten the approval of uh, President Muhammad Buhari to go ahead with this, to redesign, produce, release and circulate new series of banknotes 200 naira 500 naira and 1000 naira levels in line with this approval we have finalized arrangements for the new currency to begin circulation from december 15 2022 after each launch by president buhari the new and the existing currencies shall remain legal tender and circulate together until January 31st, 2023, when the existing currencies shall cease to be a legal tender. So by, by January next year, January 31st, the old currency will cease to be a legal tender in Nigeria. Okay, to cease to be a legal tender in Nigeria. And he said that once the new notes are designed, Nigerians are expected to take old notes to banks for the new notes. The CBN governor is concerned about how Nigerian currency is being stored currently. According to him, the bulk of the nation's currency, currency notes was outside bank votes, and CBN will not allow the situation to continue. MFLA added thus, to be more specific, available data at CBN 
indicates that 2.7 trillion out of the 3.3 trillion currency in circulation was outside the vault of commercial banks across the country and supposedly held by members of the public. Evidently, currency in circulation has more than doubled since 2015, rising from 1.46 trillion in December 2015 to 3.2 trillion as of September 2022. So just be taking note of some of these things because when I analyze it, I, they, they, they will play up. Uh, they, will, they, they will add to the issues I will discuss. I must say that this is worrisome, and that must not con that must not continue to be allowed. That must not be continued to be that must not be allowed. You say that must not be allowed. You cannot continue allowing so much trillions of naira to be in circulation out of the banking system. According to him, the initiative by this central bank was to help to address some of the nation's security threats, especially kidnapping and terrorism. He believes that terrorists and kidnappers capitalizes on the large excess of money to carry out their nefarious activities. So he has given us background on why the currency needs to be changed. He has given us a background on why the currencies, our currency, 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira need to be changed. Now, what is my takeaway from this? My takeaway from this is that this has once again confirmed the failure of the APC government. If you, you, you listen to what MFL said, or the statement by MFL, he said that the amount of money in circulation outside of the banking system is more than what is in the banking system. So who is to blame for this? Who is to blame for this? Is it not the government in power? Is it not the central bank governor that are supposed to be blamed for this? So because of these things he said, that is why they are going to introduce new designs of currency. In January 31st, 2023, there will no longer be the old currency in circulation. It will become illegal. And that is three, three, about three weeks to the election in February 25, barely three weeks. If they have good intention, why are they doing it a few weeks, a few months to the election? Why don't they leave this good idea as they have for the next administration? I, see, I suspect that this is another way to remove money out of the system so that this, the, the, the opposition parties, especially the small opposition parties that are coming up to challenge them, will not have access to funding. That is basically what I, my understanding of what they are, they are playing politics. They are playing politics. That is what they are doing. They want to deny parties like Labour Party access to funding. Because let's face it, 
many of them in APC are already are enjoying a lot of financial boom now as a result of corruption. They are the ones that are storing Nara notes and dollars in their houses and they can easily change it because they are the people in power. Now, other parties are looking up to ordinary Nigerians, especially the Labour Party, for contribution, to get money to run the campaign. Now, these people will be battling to change to about what to do about changing their currency three weeks to the election. It is a way to starve the opposition parties of funding. That's my understanding of it. This is political. It is not altruistic. Because that is not the, only, the best way to boost the Naira. The dwindling fortune of the Naira that many believe that is going to get to 1,000 Naira to $1 by this Christmas. So how does redesigning these currencies and they are going to spend billions of Naira to print this new money at a time that the country is heavily indebted? Who are they deceiving? I hope that the National Assembly will word into this matter and stop them from going ahead with it. Because this is not in the best interest of our democracy. Printing new money, redesigning the Naira notes, three weeks to the all-important presidential election is the time that it will become illegal. And at that point, many people are strugg will be struggling to change their money to the new currency. And then election is around the corner. And then election requires a lot of money. And you can bet that they are changing their old currency will be easy for them that are in government, the APC people. If you want to mop up the money that is outside, already we are, we are in the process whereby people are doing transactions without cash, cashless economy. That's what they are promoting. So why do you need to print new money? Why don't you say that everybody, why don't you find a way to get the monies that are in people's hands back to the bank? Why do you need to go and print money? And you say you don't want people to be using cash, but you want to go and spend billions to print cash that you don't want people to be spending. You want people to go cashless. But you're going to spend billions to redesign the Naira and print it. For what? In the same economy, you say you want a cashless economy. It doesn't work that way. This is, the timing is wrong. The timing is wrong. And I, I understand it that this is a way to disorganize opposition financially and stifle them. If beavers is going to be used to stop them in their trap, now they have come up again. So that they will be the only one that can use their money to buy votes while others will be starved of fund to do that. Of course, vote buying is illegal. Nobody condones it. But then what, how do you explain the fact that the APC government is redesigning the Naira 
and changing the currency three weeks to, to the election. That's when they will ban the use of the old currency. Three weeks. And you know how this country is when they introduce new things like this. The people that will suffer most are the people, ordinary Nigerians. Ordinary Nigerians that, that are expected to support the political parties, especially the Labour Party that is leading the revolution against the system. So the timing is wrong. The intentions are not right. The intentions are political. There's no, no better way to interpret this than it is political. It is political. And it's a way, as far as I'm concerned, this is part of the way they want to starve opposition parties of funding. So I, I, I believe that in the next few days, in the next few weeks, that the opposition party, the National Assembly, and uh, the critical thinkers in Nigeria will wade into this matter and stop them so that this thing they want to do, if it is necessary, let it be left for the incoming administration. Let it not be done by this government. Let the Naira be redesigned. After May 29, 2023. That is the best thing to do. Because the country should not spend the money it doesn't have to go and print a new set of money. Logistic wise, it, it is it is it is it's a no no three weeks to the presidential election. That is when the old currency would be banned. Because the old currency would be banned from January 31st, 2023. Look at that timing. It is not in the best interest of the country. This is political. This is targeted as the opposition so that they will not have fund to campaign, so that they will not be able to compete effectively with the APC. I don't know what you think about it, but whatever you think about it, you can comment on the commentary box. Let us share ideas on it. But the timing is wrong. The intentions in terms of the political intention is wrong. Of course, there is a need for money to be within the system than out of the system. But ask yourself, what did the Central Bank of Nigeria do when dollar was being spent anyhow in the primaries of APC and PDP presidential uh, of, the, of, the, of the APC and PDP? Their presidential primaries. What have CBN done about the dollarization of Nigeria? Where people are paying school fees in dollars. Some people in Ni some big men in Nigeria today, they don't spend naira, they spend dollars. What have they done about it? What is it, what is it gonna do about the stabilization of the naira? The speculation that it's going to be 1,000 naira to a dollar by December. What are they doing about it? Is that the changing the, the, the designs of the naira note? Is that what will bring the value up? I think this is political. This is to deny the opposition access to funding. Why they themselves who are in government will have a few days running their campaign smoothly. The opposition will be struggling to raise money in the midst of an election 
the opposition will be running around to change their currency to the new currency. Come on. This is not right. This, the, this is, the timing is wrong. The intentions may look nice on paper. But in reality, if you go behind the sound bikes, you know that this is political. It is targeted at the opposition. I, uh, I hope uh, to hear from you. If you have an alternative view of what I'm saying about this, state your position on the commentary box. So that's where I'm, I want to end this uh, discussion. And I hope that Nigerians will wade into this matter in the next few weeks so that the government will be forced to drop the idea. We have more important things to do than to redesign the Naira notes. What we are talking about, how do you stabilize the Naira? How do you stop the dollarization of Nigeria so that people will stop using dollar as if it is the legal tender in Nigeria? Dollar is not legal tender in Nigeria. Legal tender in Nigeria is the Naira. So what's the business of Nigerian politicians spending dollar as if dollar is our local currency. That is what MFL should address. That is what the CBN should address and not the printing of new Naira notes. No matter how fantastic the design may look, that's not the solution to the problem facing the country right now. And in terms of that, that it is affect this, it encourages kidnapping and all that. It, it, it doesn't make any sense because even when they kidnap somebody, they can still order the person, the family members, to go to the bank and withdraw the new currency and bring it for them. So what's what the CBN going to do about that? So they should spare us all this uh, story. They know what to do. They know what to do to stop money laundering. Let them do it. But let them not deceive us that we need to print new currency for us to be able to stop money laundering and paying ransom to kidnap us. Thank you once again for watching this video. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell, and like this video. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you.